I know that's not what you subscribed for, but who doesn't like pretty nature scenery? What kind of soulless monster doesn't enjoy this? So, sword reviews. I know, some of you have been complaining about the lack of sword reviews lately, and I know, I feel you, it bothers me too. And uh, I figured I should tell you on a day when I went out in the woods to test a sword, to let you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, to be honest, it's exceptional, but hey, I'm trying what I can. So um, if you don't know the situation, um, originally we moved because the housing was getting too crazy and we wanted to move into a house so video making would be easier, would have more options. And I did for a year that went very well. I could do a whole lot of sword and other weapon tests and reviews and other kind of hands-on videos because I could just walk out the back door and set up. I could have all my stuff there. It wasn't an issue. So um, that was actually the easier thing to do as opposed to coming up with ideas for other content. Um, since that didn't work out, if, again, if you don't know, the short version is the house ended up a money grave. It turned out to have a lot of problems that we didn't know about, that the home inspector didn't see either. It was just financially just crippling, basically. So we had to cut our losses and get the hell out of there. And the only thing that we could find was an apartment. We were supposed to move into a new house actually right now, you know, late July, early August. That didn't work out due to delays. There's a serious shortage of both building materials and workers here, framers particularly. And um, yeah, so we're still stuck in the apartment. Why is that a problem anyway? In Victoria, I was in an apartment too, and I could still occasionally do those videos. Well, the difference is in Victoria, the Lima School, Blood and Iron, let me store stuff there, you know, tatami mats in particular. They let me soak them there. We had, had the stand, the cutting stand there. I just had to bring swords, basically. And uh, that made it a whole lot easier. Here, you can't transport soaked tatami mats in a car, really. It's a large container that I have to use to soak it. It's a lot of water that I have to dump out somewhere. You can't easily go back and forth with stuff like that. Uh, one of my viewers kindly offered to let me do stuff in his backyard, which I did once. And um, I'm pretty nitpicky with my video quality and I did not like the background and the lighting as much. Obviously that's nothing that he or anyone else can do anything about so that's just how it is. Plus it's still not great to have to uh, transport stuff back and forth like the cutting stand in particular transporting that it takes time and time is kind of the main problem. Now admittedly my time man management skills if you even want to call them that, are not great. And uh, so that's an issue. I'm barely able to keep up with regular video production. It's been quite difficult, in fact. So, yeah, I'm just telling you that so you know that I haven't suddenly lost interest in sword reviews or whatever. I mean, I have also kind of run out of swords because since I know this whole situation, I, uh, I didn't even get any new ones because I knew that while we're in the apartment, it's going to be very difficult for me to do that. So why even spend money on something that I'm not going to really be able to use much for a while? Um, I also had a number of offers, you know, to send me stuff to review, but uh, I had to decline because I tell them, hey, I can't, oh, don't throw us both in the water. So it went out in the woods today to do some testing, but again, I cannot bring tatami mats here. I cannot bring the stand and leave it here. I can't haul the stand into the bush. Who knows how far? There are some logistics problems, let's put it that way. So um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. And I think I have to go back to the person who offered to, to let me do stuff in the backyard, if he's still okay with it. That's literally my only option right now, uh, as far as tatami cutting is concerned. 
So yeah, it sucks. I don't like it either. I understand your frustration. But um, the time frame currently for moving into a new place is uh, the estimate is January, probably, unless there are any more delays. So that's probably what we're looking at. Until then, I won't be able to do a whole lot. Like I'll do what I can, but uh, bear with me. It's tricky to manage everything. So thanks for your patience, I guess, if you're still around. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll just show you a bit more waterfall. And dead ass over there. 